tribe, Max Simon here, giving you the second video in this exclusive Enlightened Entrepreneur series. And today I want to talk about inner and outer alignment. You see, I have another story to tell. Um, I've been in business for myself for just about two, a little over two years now. And before that I was running the Chopra Center Products Division for Deepak Chopra and was their lead educator and teacher. And when I started my business, it was actually just focused on helping people to get centered in themselves, helping them to get clarity inside of themselves. It was very much about the, the inner game. And as I was doing that, I wasn't really getting the results I was looking for. As I shared with you in one of the previous videos, um, I had lost $80,000 that year in my business and I was struggling and I was working so freaking hard. And I was trying everything, at least I thought. And I did some serious soul searching and I actually ended up attending some live events and getting some coaching. And what I discovered is that even though on one level it was very kind of satisfying, I was leaving out a huge part of my passion and my purpose, which is about business and marketing and how to help you get your message out into the world because that's really my background. So when I boiled it down, I was out of alignment. I wasn't fully congruent with what I wanted to be doing, how I wanted to be doing it, and who I wanted to be doing it with. So today that's what I wanted to talk about with you, which are the three levels of alignment. Because I hate to say this, until you have a complete level of integrity in these three areas, what you're doing, who you're doing it with, and how you're doing it, your business is going to struggle. So let's talk about each. First is what are you doing? Now, it's counterintuitive to believe that you can do exactly what you love. It's a little funny, right? Because most of the time we're taught we have to fit into a certain mold. We have to do things a certain way. But I'll give you an example. I love to meditate. I love to practice yoga. I love to live a healthy life. And I love this business game. I love marketing and creative ways of sharing a message and making money and putting on events. And yet those two worlds can seem a little bit opposite. One is about going in and surrender and letting go of what's going on around you. And one is about the material, the being in the world, the making stuff happen. Now, if I was to just do one or the other, as I did, I won't get very good results, or I didn't get very good results. But the moment I decided to merge those worlds, what I was doing, everything shifted very fast. And last year in 2009, I went from losing $80,000 in 2008 to building a half a million dollar business in 2009. What is that? It's like a thousand percent growth or more. <laughs> So, first thing you have to ask yourself is, is what I'm doing perfectly in alignment with what I really love? Is it merging everything that I want to be doing into my life into one package? That's the what factor. The second is, is who are you doing it with? Now, when I had my first business, I was focusing exclus exclusively on the people that were kind of stressed out because those are the ones that need to be uh, centered the most. But that really wasn't who I wanted to be serving. They weren't the people that really lit me up. They weren't the people that inspired me. They weren't the people that I wanted to be surrounded by. So who I was serving wasn't really in alignment with what I wanted the most. And the people that I had inside of my group weren't playing at their highest. And that was partially my leadership fault. But I realized that both internal and external, I was out of alignment. So the next question you have to ask yourself is, is who do you really want to be serving the most? And who do you want to be around you the most? And realize that if that's out of integrity, your business is going to struggle. Because when I shifted to focusing on conscious entrepreneurs who have a message, a mission, a purpose, an energy to share with the world, and I became determined to only bring in the absolute best of the best in terms of talent 
and I decided inside of myself to become that strong of a leader, that's when everything shifted again. So number two, who do you want to have in your business and is that in alignment right now? And the third thing is how you're doing it. Now, as I shared with you, I'm devoted to a rigorous self-care routine. I need to meditate twice a day. I need to do at least yoga three or four days a week. I need to move my body every day and healthy foods. And when I looked at either the kind of lifestyle I was living or the kind of events I was putting on, there was still a misalignment. So now we've shifted to bringing in all of these energies into one roof, not only in my own life where I only work 40 hours a week and sometimes, oftentimes very less and traveling and spending plenty of time to really get the nourishment and rejuvenation I need. Plus I go to my own retreats several times a year and looking at the type of events we create where every morning we do yoga together, twice a day meditation, healthy, delicious, home-cooked meals, the time to authentically connect. We bring in people who really help you to get expansive in your consciousness. All of these things are now in alignment with how I want to be running my business. So look at those three areas of your life and in your business and ask yourself the question, are they in alignment? And if they're not, here's my suggestion to you. First, get clear on what you do want. Secondly, get clear on what you don't want. And third, put a plan of action into place that you can start making these shifts immediately. Because I'll tell you, and I know this from coaching so many entrepreneurs, putting on so many live events around the world, and being a speaker at so many other people's events, if you don't have alignment in these three areas, what you're doing, who you're doing it with, and how you're doing it, it is absolutely impossible for you to create a thriving business.